Hey, Pascal, uh, congrats on the win. Um, it's the first time in franchise history that you guys have uh, gone up 3-0 in a series. And I'm wondering what that means, what taking a, a lead like that means um, to you. Um, not much, I don't think. Um, I don't think, you know, we did, I didn't even know that. We didn't focus on that. Uh, I think for us, it's just um, continue to focus on games and, and, and just playing game by game. Like, every game is going to be different. And, um just got to come out with the same focus and intensity every game. I'm um, trying to accomplish something, and, you know, our goal is always to win. And, um, you know, that's what we came into the game for, and, and I don't think we were worried about that. And um, it's just about taking every game and then just going out there and trying to get a win at the same time. Sure. Um, Fred has been exceptionally hot lately. I'm wondering what your reaction to his end of uh, the first half three-pointer was. I mean, I think he practices every every game before. Um, we got we got a little shot where you know he always shoots from half court, so um, I feel like he's used to it. I mean, I'm surprised. That's, I don't know if it's the first time or not, but I feel like he's used to it. Thank you. Next, we have Josh Lewinberg from TSM. Hey, Pascal, congrats on the win. Uh, normally in the days leading up to Game Three, you guys are are traveling, dealing with the airports, hotels. All of that, and then obviously playing in front of a, a road city, road fans. W was there a benefit to not having to deal with that here so far in this series, just sort of being another day going into game three? I have no idea, to be honest. I just, I, don't, I, I think, like, you know, just being in this environment and um, trying to get used to everything that's happening and, and um, kind of making this kind of like home, it's been, it's been complicated, you know. I think. For us now, it's like, you know, kind of getting accustomed to it and um, just continue to treat it like, you know, every single day. And then, like you said, it doesn't feel like it's a home game or away game. I mean, the colors probably change in the arena, but um, that's about it. So I think for us, it's just focusing on the game and game plan, um, just coming out and ex executing and, and doing what we want to do. What allowed you to sort of take over there in the third quarter? I mean, just continue, like I said, man, like I'm not – I'm, I'm worried about winning, and, and I think every way that I can help my team win, and, and you know, that's what I'm going to do. And, and for me, um, I think for a lot of people, you know, it's always about mix and misses. For me, it's not about that. It's about uh, continuing to have the same focus and energy, um, continue to get to my, stuff, my spots and taking the shots that I want to take um, and live with the results. So, I, I mean, I think I'm, I'm going to do that, for, you know, um, because I work on these things and I'm, I'm confident in, in, in what I do and, and how much I put in, in, into my game. Um, so I just got to let the game come to me, man. Continue to play, have fun out there, um, enjoy enjoy playing my teammates, play play hard on defense, and the rest, you know, just going to take care of yourself. Thanks, Pascal. Have a good night. Next we go to Michael Grange of Sportsnet. Hey, Pascal. Uh, you, got, you, you were pretty active in the paint and, you, you know, some catches off the – off cuts that your teammates found you. How important is that for you to, to kind of feel energized when, you, when you're getting some attempts at the rim and, and uh, guys are looking for you just cutting through the paint and things like that and, and maybe out in transition? I mean, I, th I think we have the advantage there. So uh, we just try to use whatever advantage that we have and, um, and, and that's what we're going to do, you know, continue to move, cut, um, and try to get to the paint against, you know, especially when um, the big man is not designed the game. So, um, I think that I'm just taking whatever the defense gives me. Do you uh, do you kind of build your offense from inside out? Like, is it is uh, do you focus on that a little bit? Like, like uh, not really. It's, it's about taking whatever the defense gives me and 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 taking the shots that I work on. Great, appreciate that, man. Have a good night. Mm -hmm. Next, we go to Mike Ganter from the Toronto Sun. Hey, Pascal. Uh, a couple times today, and, and a couple times in the past few games, you've been you know in you've been in attack mode, and you really haven't got the benefit of the whistle. Just wondering how much you're thinking about – I remember DeMar when he was um, sort of getting to this point where he would he, – or he got to the point where he would get calls and, and how he went through that and the frustration level. How much of that are you thinking about these days? Uh, I mean, I hope, I hope I can get there. I can get there one day. But um, to be honest, like I try, I try my best, you know, not to focus on the referees and um, just, just go and continue, continue playing and, and uh, not worrying about it, you know. I think – um, it's on me to go out there and finish it. And, and, you know, if I get calls or I don't get calls, you know, like that's, I got to focus on finishing. And, and I think every single play, that should be my focus. And, um, and the whistle not worry about it, to be honest. Like, that's what I got to be able to do. 